morning everybody another beauty day out here now I've decided we got a nice cool night last night it was minus 12 it's supposed to be a high of minus 5 today so and then we but then we've got a couple days of a little bit warm and then it's back to you know just over freezing so I can I can handle that I got I think two weeks where it's just melting you know a little bit in the daytime so I don't have to worry about everything getting screwed up with uh, not being able to get out so I'm going to set a few beaver traps it's uh, only a week left of wolf season so I won't be setting any wolf snares the, uh, unless I find a fresh kill and I might set a few around there you know where I can just check them fairly uh, easily and get them pulled you know, over the next few days but that area where I put bait in last week that whole road is you know, like we had you know plus 12 the other day Celsius you know if you're talking you know, upwards almost 60 degrees and that road opened right up I got no uh, no way to get in there now I mean I can get into it with the quad but I, on the road but I can't get from the road out to where the wolf snares would be so I uh, give up on that idea with those that location till next year but I'm dropping off Martin nesting boxes too you see this one I made to hang on the tree like that don't really care for that it stands out too much on the uh, for bears to notice and stuff so uh, the rest have been done the way I used to do them so it's uh I've dropped four other ones off I brought six out that I made yesterday so we'll get them up and you can see in there already this is one of my Martin sets so I'm gonna put a box in there and just not bother with a with setting this trap ever. I've got a trap up there about a quarter mile. So I should be able to get the, the wanderers after and hopefully leave the mature female if she takes the nest. So anyways, put this thing in the pack sack or nails will be everywhere. Alrighty, we'll see you down the trail. I'm gonna hopefully get some beaver traps set today. I said I really needed to get that uh, beaver dam broke that is just down from the cabin because this is what happens in the spring when this water just keeps backing up over top of the ice and backing up and backing up now I'm gonna come in On the way back, if I have time, I'm going to go chop open that dam somewhat and try and relieve some of the pressure off this. We don't need that thing to float away, but we'll see what happens. All right. Okay, well, I'm down here scouting this river. You can see the uh, anywhere where it isn't a solid beaver pond is getting a little bit, <coughs> well, a little bit more than a little touchy about traveling across so and you, know, you gotta just run the, sh the banks until you find some solid ice and then cross but uh, 
I don't have to come down here no more because I didn't find a live beaver house, which is very odd because there's a dam right there that was fresh this fall. Right there, right there. And I went all the way upstream until it goes into the bush where there's no more swamp and there's nothing there. So they either come from a long ways there or down that away, which is, I can only go a quarter mile and then I'm off my trap line. So, anyways, we'll scoot back across and uh, get up the trail and go to Mont. Alrighty. Oh, and just back a ways there, there was fresh lynx track right on my old skidoo trail just from must have been yesterday before it turned cold because they were right on, on top of the skidoo trail. I could see them pressed into the into the snow. So cool. See you down there. How's she going again guys? Here we are. I am about 12 miles past the last time I talked to you. And one big giant beaver house right over there. But that house has been alive every year I've been here, but it's almost impossible to set because it's got floating bog everywhere around it and the beavers just go under the bog and there's no channels I can find or nothing. But there's you know, fresh sign all around the pond like cuttings from last fall like every other pond i've been at and i've only found two so far that have looked like anything didn't get froze out and those are both on semi you know good lakes where the water level like this one here is down you know and it's just a bog pond anyway but it's down to about three feet from last year so i got a funny feeling a ton ton of these beavers out here got froze right out a lot of the ponds I was on, there's fresh cutting and there's no water in the ponds at all. It's very dry, so I don't think I'm going to be setting any beaver traps. I mean, I've got, I think, four or five houses I could set, but why bother if, uh, you know, there are that many beavers. And besides, if the other ones did get froze out with winter kill, better leave these other ones for some seed because I don't want to have no beavers. So anyways, my trail goes through there but I don't have time to cut it out. Um, it goes through for about three miles through the bush and I didn't cut it out last year. I didn't come in here at all last year and then with this year and I'm pretty sure I don't have time to cut it out right now because there was lots of trees down in a couple other places where I went through so we'll just leave that for for this summer since I won't have to spend the whole summer up at the lodge I've got a couple interviews for a job there this week so we'll see what happens job yeah. I know horrible word but I will pay some bills I guess alrighty I found where all the wolves were hanging out and all the moose there. They were all up in this area here that all winter long it looked like because I didn't go through here. So anyways, time to head home without pulling a or setting a trap. And this is why I came to the far end first. I didn't start setting at the three good ponds that I found. here before I got all the way out and set a bunch of traps as it came all the way out here and it wasn't worthwhile. Anyways, keep your dry boys. See you later. Hi hey guys, we're at the camp on the way home and I decided to stop for a coffee. So, just letting the water boil. What a beautiful day out here. But that was a kind of a fail on the beaver trapping. But, you know, when there's that low of water, 
you know, besides the fact that in the fall when they're collecting feed, you know, the wolves and bears get them pretty quick when they're up, you know, in the water out in the bush to protect themselves. And but anyways, and then, uh, and then you get the added pleasure of winter kill when the uh, birds hunt bright. So it's, uh, it's a no-go on the beavers. I guess I'll just have to, I guess I'll phone the game board and see what I can do about if I can, if, yeah, I can go trap nuisance beavers, I guess. I went by a couple of creeks out on the farmland. They're starting to open up a little bit, so should be able to go out and snags and beavers. I'm going to have to do a, a lot. I'll set a, I got one guy that asked me, so I got to find out from the game wardens if I can do it or not. Pretty sure I can, but I don't know if I have to give them my RTL license and just, uh, and then get the kill permit from the township. But who knows? What the hell is that? Oh, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> I guess I did. I went, uh, coming back, sl the skidoo slid off the side of the trail one place because it's, cause the trail's kind of humped right now because the snow on the sides has melted. And it went between a couple, of, like, kind of at a steep angle under a tree, and I had to really give it, gun it through the, get it back on the trail and the branches on the tree just kind of raked across my face and I guess I got a little cut somewhere I can't really tell but I see there's some blood there yep uh, life goes on like I tell my granddaughter all the time long ways from my heart so anywho oh and the bug right now is out in Fernie BC skiing throwing herself off mountains that's some crazy shit, I tell you, I don't do that. But, looks like my coffee water's ready, so... We'll talk... Oh, there you can... Yeah, there is blood there, huh. What do you know? Anyways. Catch you later, guys. Yeah, have a good one. <laughs>